Hi everyone, my name is Lauren. I'm a trainer here at St. Louis Boxing Club. Today I'm gonna to take you through your cross, which is one of your most effective power punches. So to get yourself set up for your cross, let's get started. Your lead leg is gonna be in front, your rear leg is gonna be behind. If you are right-handed, you're gonna be in your orthodox stance, which means my left leg will be in front, my right leg will be behind. That would mean my cross is my right hand. If you're left-handed, you're just gonna do the opposite of kind of what I'm saying here today. So to get yourself started, hands are always up by your jaw, like we've talked about in our jab video. You establish the distance from the bag with your jab. So if I was getting ready to throw a cross, I wanna make sure that my distance from the bag is appropriate. And the way to do that is to make Make sure that my jab extends all the way out. From here, I would know that I have a good distance from the bag. So when you're throwing your cross, right, we think about the jab is in front here. My cross probably is not going to make the same distance as my jab. The reason for that is when we throw our cross, we have to use our legs, right? That's where we get generate our power. That's how we find the distance that our jab has created. So to get started, hands are up palms are facing you, just like on our jab, we are going to rotate our palm down, rolling that shoulder up to protect our jaw on our um, cross. So hands are up, my jab extends out to find my good distance. My cross is going to rotate palms down, just like I said, shoulder rolls up to protect my jaw. And then if you take a look at my back leg, if you can see that I've turned all the way up onto the ball of my foot using my legs, using the power from the ground up. We say that a lot in class, power from the ground up. That's because we generate power from our legs for power shots on the heavy bag. So from here, right, jab is out, cross is here. Palm strikes the bag and it always comes back. We never wanna strike the bag and push it. We wanna make sure we're making good impact with the bag with that cross hand and then driving it right back to our jaw to protect our face. So right here, strike it, come right back to your jaw. That's where we generate that muscle memory that we always keep our hands up. Another important part about our cross is that sometimes when we throw it, our elbows can wing out. We wanna make sure that we're coming right from our jaw straight through. And a good rule of thumb, a good way to practice this is to stand next to your bag. Sometimes in the warm up, you could do this with your shadow boxing to make sure that your elbows are staying in. If I'm throwing a cross, sometimes I'll set myself up right next to my bag, rotate through. If my elbow is hitting the bag, you know that your elbow's winging out. And we want those elbows to stay in nice and tight. We want that good rotation through our core, good rotation through our hips to drive that cross, not our elbow and our arm coming out. So next time you're doing your shadow boxing or if you think that your elbow is winging out on your cross, stand right next to this bag, rotate through and make sure that you're not hitting your heavy bag as you're throwing your cross, okay? So just to kind of go through this one more time, summarize, hands are up, palms are facing you. As I'm throwing my cross, I rotate my knuckles down, my shoulder rolls up to protect my jaw and I always bring it back. The most important part about the cross with it being the most effective power punch is using your legs. So you never wanna throw your cross keeping your feet planted to the ground. As I throw my cross, I use my legs, I strike, I come right back to my jaw. That is your cross. If you ever have questions in class, if you ever need any tips, please come talk to your trainers. We're happy to help always.